It's 9.05, so we're going to get started. So good evening and welcome to our call this evening. My name is Marlena Jones, and I'm a representative with the Juice Plus Company. Almost every night of the week all over the globe, our company sponsors public events just like this one as we inspire healthy living around the world. We're so excited to have you with us this evening. I just want to start off by saying that each one of you will benefit from Dr. Benita's talk this evening. As we get started, I'm going to mute everyone. So, hold on a second, because I have to unmute myself. All right, and to unmute Dr. Benitez. Of course, I lost her. <laughs> Can you unmute mute Dr. Benitez? I just yeah. did. I okay. unmuted. Great. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> if you're calling in via phone, uh, you can mute yourself by pressing star six. Uh, please note that if your phone shows up on the screen when we start talking, then for some reason uh, the mute didn't take and uh, we would just ask you to be very quiet because even shuffling of papers can get picked up on our very sensitive microphones. So sit back and relax. You're in for a treat with this forward-thinking doctor. So let me introduce our speaker for this evening. Dr. Pamela Benitez is a general surgeon with a busy practice, now focusing exclusively on diseases of the breast and breast cancer. She comes to us from William Buford Hospital in Royal Oak, Michigan, where she is highly active in research and medical education. Her most recent papers have appeared in the Annals of Surgical Oncology and the International Journal of Radiation Oncology. Her other clinical interest is exploration of the role of nutrition in health and disease. Born in Maryland and raised in Missouri and New York, Dr. Benitez found her way to Michigan via her undergraduate work at Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri. She graduated from there with academic honors. Her medical school training was at Albany Medical College in upstate New York, where she was elected to the prestigious National Academic Alpha Omega Alpha Medical Honor Society, and her surgical residency was at the University of Michigan. Empowering individuals to have and take control of their health is a major focus of her practice. She encourages her patients and audiences to take personal responsibility for their own health as she believes that this is the key to the future of our health system. So now I would like to, without further ado, present Dr. Pamela Benitez. Hi, everybody. I'm going to just share my screen and see if I can do this. Yes, okay. And I'm just trying to figure this out how to minimize this. I can't, okay, I don't know how to do that. So this is, I'm, I'm not a pro at Zoom, at Zoom calls. I don't know how to, that's what I was saying. Well, all your pictures are over the slide, so I don't know how to get that off. How do I minimize everybody? Usually it will be on the side. I don't know why it's, um, okay. I'm trying to move it, but I'm do you see, no idea why it's staying over, over your slides. Do you see them? Do you see all the pictures? We see the slides. I see the okay. pictures. Yeah, I think you're going to be fine, though. 
Okay, great, super. Well, thanks everybody for being here. So I just wanted to do sort of a little uh, chat here about something I truly believe in that you are what you eat. And I think that's something that is empowering. I believe that it gives us control over our lives and so much of our lives we don't have control over. So um, I think this is something that we really can actually succeed at, at achieving and making a difference in our overall health, not only for ourselves, but for our family and friends and huh, maybe those people you don't care so much about. But anyway, I think it works out great. Um, what you eat does matter. And I think that what we're learning more and more is that it can have serious consequences to many aspects of our health. I love this little saying here that the food you eat can either be the best form of medicine or in some ways uh, poison because it is often very toxic to our bodies. And this has been around forever. This has been before time that Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. So this is not a new concept for any of us. It's just that we are starting to listen now. I think for years we haven't and we've been pretty nonchalant about recognizing that food can make a difference in our lives. And I'm glad that we're starting to realize this because we really have a, a serious health crisis in our uh, country today and in the world. In our country, I think a lot of the problems that we have are because we haven't taken care of ourselves and we're part of the problem just as much as the politics are part of our health problems. So I think if we need to, we need to figure it out. We need to take ownership of our responsibilities and be part of the solution in medicine today. So I'm gonna talk about the problems that we have with health in our society, talk a little science, just so you understand the, the basis of what we're talking about, talk about why plants make a difference and help you develop a personal plan. So let's talk about what I was saying, the problems that we have are our behaviors and we're just as much a part of the problem and we are just as much a part of the solution to our healthcare crisis that we have today. So the top three leading behaviors that impact mortality, and you probably know this well, is number one, smoking. And along with smoking, there's so many medical diseases secondary to smoking, our dietary choices, and last but not least, those lifestyle decisions that we make, um, doing this on a Friday night instead of going out for a three mile walk. So we really do have behaviors that make a difference, not only to our mortality and our survivorship, but clearly to the healthcare system and to the bottom line, because these behaviors lead to the diseases that we as physicians have to treat every single day. We know that diabetes is extremely prevalent. We're seeing it more in young people. Young people aren't getting type one diabetes, they're getting type two diabetes. And it's a major problem in terms of loss of vision, loss of limbs, just terrible a stroke and heart disease. So diabetes is a crisis for not only adults, but for children as well. High blood pressure, probably a third of Americans have high blood pressure and as we age, it increases. Once again, leads to heart disease and stroke. Let me just mention something about heart disease and cancer. So what we know is that heart disease kills more women than um, breast cancer. And one of the great things about breast cancer in my world is that many women are surviving a diagnosis of breast cancer because we're paying attention and finding it earlier and we have such great treatment. My patients aren't dying today of their breast cancer, they're dying actually of heart disease. So when I talk to a woman about breast cancer, we have to talk heart healthy. And it's so important that you get this message that when we think about taking control over our nutritional plan and taking control over the behaviors that we have, we are gonna make a difference. If we think heart healthy and think plant-based, we're making a big difference in our risk of dying from heart disease. So I say, I talk about this every single day in my practice. And when we look at cancer, I think all of you who are on the phone tonight know someone or know someone who knows someone who struggled with cancer and a cancer diagnosis, because we know that one in two men and one in three women will have cancer in their lifetime. And what's important is what we hear more and more is that a lot of these cancer deaths could have been, been prevented by what we ate, so much so that 
the American Cancer Society says that dietary and physical activity are the most important modifiable determinants of cancer risk if you don't smoke. And I think that's a really powerful statement. And certainly in my world of cancer, when people always ask me, why did I get cancer? You know, I, I don't have the answer, but I do believe that what you eat can make a difference in your risk of cancer. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit more as we go along, but so important and it's so to me empowering because it's not like you're just gonna you just you're you're a victim of getting cancer you have control over that risk and looking a little more closely at cancer we look at this list of risk factors for cancer but i'm gonna sort of break it down and take out some things and show you that our dietary choices smoking obesity lack of exercise and alcohol all play a big role and are a big part of this pie in terms of the risk for getting cancer. So it emphasizes what we just heard from the American Cancer Society, that we certainly have control over our risk of getting cancer. And if we look at our kids, we really have a crisis of obesity and poor health in our children. And I truly believe it's because of behaviors. It's lifestyle we're so crazy busy that sometimes the easiest thing for a family to do is to get carry out or take out or go to the you know mcdonald's or burger king and we're just not doing our children a world of good and they're sitting there as you can see watching tv and playing video games sitting not having i mean i grew up where everybody came to the dinner table we played outside the bell rang and you came in and had dinner and you ate a healthy meal well that's not what's happening in our society today and so our kids are really struggling and we're we the parents and grandparents are part of the problem if we look at obesity it's i think i just heard a statistic that we're over 25 percent now in terms of obesity in our children and these are real kids and it's not getting any better we know that by the age of 12, 70% of all children have hardening of the arteries, and that's only gonna to lead to further health problems, not only heart disease, stroke, but kidney problems and all different kinds of difficulties with their health. And we also know that, again, I can't say it enough, the obesity crisis is reaching astronomical proportions for our children. I have a friend, he's a, a general surgeon in California, and his practice is bariatric surgery and he has a waiting list of six months and it's all children so he's doing bariatric surgery on children rearranging their intestines which is going to be a lifelong metabolic change simply because of lifestyle decisions that the parents and the children are making and lifestyle choices and i i, I think that's criminal and and we need to change all of that and Typically, as a physician, you know, we've been taught to treat disease, not to prevent it. And gratefully, we're starting to hear a little bit about prevention. And that's the focus that the healthcare has to take and the healthcare professionals. We have to now work on prevention and talking to our patients about prevention rather than just treat diseases. When someone has an abnormal mammogram, Clearly, that's not doing anything for prevention. That's simply saying, do you have cancer or not? So we, we have to change, all of us have to change, and we have to work on this together. So let's just talk a little bit of science. Every major chronic disease that we deal with has an oxidative stress component, whether it's arthritis, Alzheimer's, some cardiovascular diseases, atherosclerosis, immune diseases, and the whole discussion of oxidative stress comes from oxidation. So when we breathe oxygen, that those the metabolism of oxygen, those cells get converted into energy and they produce free radicals. These are tiny molecules that are simply formed because of the process of oxidation or converting oxygen into energy. So of course, that's going to happen. We don't want it to not happen. Otherwise, we wouldn't be alive. And in normal amounts, our bodies um, are used to this and it's able to deal with the free radicals to keep our bodies healthy. And in, in addition, we know that antioxidants help to balance this whole process and our bodies are going to create them or are, we were able to find these antioxidants in the foods that we eat. Now, if you think back in time, back in the days when we roamed 
when we roamed the, you know, the earth and we got our food from the earth, we were eating plants, we were eating fruits and vegetables. And certainly if we ate meat, it was food that was, I mean, it was meat that was grazing on grass and it was healthy, healthier than what we're seeing when we get food or meat from the animals that are penned. But we create them or we eat them. And so our bodies for many, many years were in balance because we had oxi antioxidants combating this oxidation that was going on. So we were, we were better off than we are today. But what happens is when we have too much free radical formation or too few antioxidants to help regulate the oxidative process, the free radicals will damage our cells, not only the cell membranes, but also the inside of the cell, the mitochondria, the proteins, the DNA, and cause this tissue damage. And when it happens, it's called oxidative stress. And that's what we need to control is this oxidative stress. It's not that we're controlling oxidation, but we're controlling oxidative stress. Sometimes we get oxidative stress when we're a marathon runner. So is that a bad thing to be a marathon runner? No, it's not. But hopefully, and what's happening is people are learning over time what nutrition they need to do marathon running or to do you know, ex extreme sports. They're, they're understanding that nutrition plays an important role to reduce the effect of oxidative stress. So it's not like it shouldn't happen, it's just that what are we doing to make a difference on this oxidative stress that's happening, not only from everyday activities, but from activities we want people to do. So that's the concept that we need to understand. And it's again, it looks like this aging of the apple or some people look at it rusting of cars, but we're seeing this decay, we're seeing this premature aging and disease because of the oxidative stress. It does break down our cells because as you can see in the bottom picture that the cells are attacked by the free radicals and that's a cell that's now been damaged by this whole oxidative stress process. And we can't avoid it today. So again, eons ago, we didn't have the toxins in our environment that increase our oxidative stress. We didn't have the bacteria we didn't have the chemical factories or the poor food choices that we have today that go into this whole problem of oxidative stress, free radical damage, injury to our cells. And you can see in this picture down at the bottom, the reactive oxygen species, that's our free radicals that are damaging our DNA, our protein, and our mitochondria. So it's really important to understand that this is happening every single day and it's part of so many diseases. This is just a small list of all of the disease states for which we think oxidative stress is at the root. And many of these, many, many, many of these are reversible and treatable by our nutritional plan. So that's a bit of science tonight, and let's talk about why plants work. And what is plant-based nutrition? It's whole, unrefined, or minimally refined plants. So it's our fruits and vegetables, our, our legumes, our tubers, our root vegetables, whole grains. That's what plant-based nutrition is all about. And we want to minimize or eliminate meat. Certainly, I recommend eliminating red meat. If you eat chicken, I think you need, you need to know the source, so you need to get free range from a, a good source. And fish, we like the fatty fish, and you know, I was actually um, just at conference talking to people about fish sourcing, and we're worried about the fish that we get from our waters because of all the plastics now that we're finding in fish. So I think it's, it's getting tougher, but we need to be mindful of our sources for all of our meat products and fish products. Um, I don't do dairy. I'm, I'm concerned about dairy. Certainly in the, my practice of medicine, I'm concerned about young girls getting a lot of dairy that might be hormone uh, rich because of the way we treat our cattle. So dairy, I think we need to be careful about. Once again, we need to know our source or consider organic dairy as well as eggs. We get rid of all refined foods like processed foods, refined foods, you know, white flour, white bread, white rice, we want to get rid of all of that when we look at 
whole food, plant-based nutrition. And there is a ton of research on why plants make a difference in terms of our overall health. And I'm just going to give you a listing of them. But there is, there, I haven't gone into the studies, but there are so many great studies that really show the benefit of plant-based nutrition. We see, of course, that it reduces the risk of death from heart disease and stroke because we're actually improving the endothelial cells, the cells that line our blood vessels so that they are healthier and we don't get the disruption of the plaque that leads to blockage of flow, heart disease and stroke. So much improvement in terms of the whole vascular system. We see that it can lower blood pressure, dec decrease the risk of dying from any cause. It certainly is anti-aging from the inside out. We see that people are just healthier from the inside out in terms of the diseases of aging, um, rheumatoid, or not rheumatoid, arthritis and aging skin. All of that changes when we have plant-based nutrition. We also see that it can make a difference in our weight. We see a lot of people who convert to plant-based nutrition become vegetarians and they lose weight. And people think, well, how can I lose weight when I'm eating grains and I'm eating beans and you know root vegetables? But you can, and you just, it's, it's remarkable how well people do. We also see that it can absolutely make a difference in diabetes. We see that lots of patients who are type two diabetics can often, get off their medication, the metformin, sometimes they can reduce their insulin needs. We even see that it's reversible, where they might be starting towards that sort of dark tunnel of diabetes and they're starting to see their sugars creep up. But we can turn that around with plant-based nutrition. Great research on plant-based nutrition, dark green leafy vegetables and eye health in terms of macular degeneration and cataracts. So we even see research at the Institute for the Massachusetts Eye and Ear Institute where they have done research on dark green leafy vegetables and comparing it to actually vitamins to Occuvite. And we're seeing improvement with the dark green leafy vegetables, not with vitamins. Healthier skin, fewer wrinkles because we're getting more blood to our skin. We're helping the vasculature of our skin so our skin is healthier. We're getting more nutrition, more hydration, so less wrinkles, better collagen, all around better skin and better sleep. So that's just a few of the benefits of plant-based nutrition. And a lot of patients will ask me, well, what, do, what do you think about a multivitamin? And I think if you're eating a healthy plant-based nutritional diet, getting those seven to 13 servings of fruits and veggies every single day, well, why would you need a vitamin? They're, they're really a problem. There, there are so many choices. I mean, you go to the Walgreens or CVS or Walmart or wherever, and you see shelves and shelves and shelves of these pills. And how do you know that you are getting the nutrition you need, taking these nutrients from food and putting them in a pill? They're fragmented, and that's not what food is supposed to be. Food is supposed to be whole food, giving you all the nutrients from that food. And we know, too, that lots of research is out there about the danger of isolated nutrients and high doses of vitamins and also vitamin supplementation. I won't go into that tonight, but there is a lot of research. It was summarized, and this is a great thing to look at, the NIH had a consensus conference in 2006 bringing in all the researchers. They presented all the data about multivitamins and supplements, and this is their conclusion, that the evidence was insufficient to recommend multivitamins for Americans to prevent chronic disease, and also that our, ins our assurance on the safety and quality of multivitamins is really inadequate. The whole concept is synergy, that it's the micronutrients and phytonutrients that are in food that give us the health benefit. It's not taking a nutrient from food and putting it in a pill and expecting it to do what that food can do for you. When you look at an apple, there are thousands of micronutrients and phytochemicals. That's why they say a doctor away keeps, I mean, uh, an apple a day keeps a doctor away. So synergy is an important concept about food and why pills don't work. So. Unless you have a defined vitamin deficiency, I don't recommend, as long as you're eating a good plant-based nutritional plan that's giving you those seven to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables, I don't recommend a multivitamin. 
And one of the questions are, well, where do you get your vitamins? Well, look at this. You eat your vitamins because you're getting them from food. All these different food sources give us the vitamins that we need every single day that you would see in a vitamin pill. But look, you can get them from food. And most of these are all from plants and fruits and vegetables. So let's talk about a plan. We know we need the macronutrients. We learned about this in medical school. That's all we learned as physicians, proteins, carbohydrates, and fat. But what's really getting the press today and what you need to understand is this micronutrition. It's the phytochemicals and phytonutrients that you get from plants. And the macronutrients, we know that the protein is important. Obviously, we were taught to get it from meat, but you can get it from plants easily. And I'll show you that in a second. Carbohydrates is the energy source and fats are important. We have to have some fat in our diet because we, there are fatty acids that our body cannot produce and we have to get from food. So people ask, well, where do I get protein in a plant-based nutritional plan? Well, you get it from all different sources, the grains, the beans, nuts, seeds, fruits, all of these have, have protein and good protein. It's more easily digested than say a ribeye steak. Um, carbohydrate speaks for itself and the fats you can get not only from plants but also from fatty fish which is sometimes really good if you're a pescatarian as opposed to a vegetarian so the micronutrients we get those from plants fruits and vegetables that's so important for our overall health because you know these are the these are the ones that are protecting our body they're repairing our body they're really our defense is the micronutrition as opposed to the macronutrition the proteins the carbohydrates and fat. Those are for our energy. Those are for our building blocks. But to really protect us, it's the micronutrition. And what they do is they inactivate the free radicals and they provide that antioxidant activity that we talked about in our science class to really help reduce the destruction to the cells, to the cell membranes, to the lipids in the cells, to the DNA, the mitochondria, and the protein. So we're really protecting and repairing our body. And this is all the plant proteins that, that are out there. It um, just shows you what a, you know, a cup of any of these, one a cup, a tablespoon, a half a cup of these different plants that can give you the proteins that we need to get healthy. So there is a lot of great protein in a plant-based nutrition. So overall, it's much better nutrition. It is whole food. They're complex. It's giving us those phytonutrients. It protects our bodies from the free radical damage. And certainly it gives us fiber. There's absolutely no fiber in meat. You can only get fiber from plant-based nutrition. I said that I hope that you would feel empowered tonight. And I really believe that, that we don't have a lot of control over many things in our life, but we certainly have a control over our health and our future of our health. So what you choose to eat can make a difference. So I want to leave you with a plan and some thought on what to do. Juice Plus is part of a plan for me. It's in my family. It's for my children, my grandchildren. All of us love Juice Plus because for us, it bridges the gap. It really helps to bridge the gap from getting those seven to, thir seven to 13 servings of fruits and veggies every day to making a huge difference in our overall health. It has the micronutrition in the capsules and macronutrition in the complete. Here's my dinner. <laughs> um, so the micronutrients we've talked about, they're so important for our cellular health. Those are concentrated fruit and vegetable powders in the capsules. And what I love about this, and I was just talking to a patient today, and she's been a juicer for years, and I said, how's it going? She goes, well, not, not so good. And, you know, it's hard to juice. It's hard to do it every day, and it's hard to get this variety every single day, and it costs a lot, and you have to go to the market every day because otherwise, as soon as you buy your fruits and vegetables, they start to rot. So what I love about this is look at the variety. You get seven different fruits eight different veggies with a couple grains and nine different berries in the juice plus capsules and none, none of us get all of not if we even with what we eat we don't get that kind of variety so i love that completes a meal replacement it's great for um breakfast or pre or post workout it's great for 
dinner. Um, I just, I love the complete. I have it every day for breakfast and it gives us the macronutrition that we need as well as some micronutrients. Protein, carbohydrates, very little fat. It's a great protein blend. Gives us fiber, ancient grains. It's got some of the juice plus powders and it's got all these no's. All, it's gluten-free and no artificial flavorings. It's just a really great product. Juice Plus is made because the company has a relationship with the growers, so they actually know the farmers, so they grow the produce, they pick it at the peak of ripeness when it has all the nutrition, it's then either flash frozen at the farm or they make it into a slurry, freeze that, then ship it, it's juiced, taking the water and simple sugars out, that's why it's great for diabetics, um, and then with a low temperature process so they don't denature the enzymes, it's made into powders. And each batch is tested for herbicides, pesticides, yeast, mold, and fungus, and it's a carefully monitored process. I, as a physician, am so proud to be associated with the company that feels that research is important. Every time a patient might bring something to me about the latest and greatest cure for cancer, my simple response is, show me the research. And I did that with Juice Plus. Someone, one of my patients was telling me about Juice Plus and she did for eight years before I had my own health crisis and realized that I needed plant-based nutrition. I was a vegetarian in medical school, but it had gone by the wayside with my crazy life. And I realized when I got sick that I really could need to go back to plant-based nutrition. And even though that was in 2005, even though there wasn't that much research, I just felt like there was enough that I could trust it. So fast forward to today, there's over 40 studies on Juice Plus in the medical literature, in the, re in the journals that we as physicians read every single day. So for me, I certainly couldn't talk and wouldn't talk about a whole food based product if it didn't have this kind of research and the quality of research that this company has chosen to have done on the product. So really proud of them. And it tells us it is what it is. It gets absorbed. It's available to act to fight disease. So that's really what Juice Plus does. It reduces the oxidative stress we've been talking about by 75%. It helps our cardiovascular system. They even did a study taking people to McDonald's for a fatty meal because fat causes vasoconstriction and that's what, why people die after a big fatty meal. Um, they have a heart attack. They saw they could reduce this vasoconstriction from a big fatty meal by 67% with just the orchard and garden and by 97% with all three blends. It helps our over, overall nutritional status and it help, really promotes anti-aging. I'm really 90 years old. So um, this is all the bullet points. I love them. I usually, sometimes I say I'll take them out, but you know what? I love the research. It reduces inflammation. We have a study on healthy skin, on healthy gum, dental health. A great study from MD Anderson on ovarian cancer survivors. It helps their quality of life. A study in children, really hard to do research in kids, reduces insulin resistance in children, which leads to diabetes. A study from Italy, I just got back from Italy, everybody smokes in Italy, so that's where these studies are done. It helps pulmonary function in smokers. Lots of research on aerobic and anaerobic exercise, so we see three Olympic teams taking Juice Plus because they're getting better performance. They're getting a less of a rise of the oxidative stress with exercise and it comes back to baseline quicker. So great studies there and more to come. The DNA studies are fantastic. The studies on the immune system are great. So we're seeing wonderful things, reduction in DNA damage, improved markers of immune function. That was what happened to me and autoimmune disease. And my body just got completely turned around with Juice Plus and all those markers of inflammation and my immune dysfunction were improved. And the company could just stop and say, okay, we're done. We don't need to do any more research. But I think the company realizes how valuable it is, uh, especially for the health professionals who are a part of the company and they continue to do research and more and more is coming out. A lot of um, self-reported changes happen over time and, and we can say, well, maybe you'll not notice anything because 
good nutrition is good nutrition, but a lot of people notice different things in terms of taking Juice Plus. I certainly have lived the success with my immune disease and believe in it so much that I want all of my family on it because we all want to live long and healthy lives. So to me, it's a plan. It's a nutritional plan that really makes sense. It's not a goal that we're just going to achieve something. This is a life we live. It, to me, it's really simple and very convenient. Two fruit, two veggie capsules, two vineyard capsules a day makes total sense. And I have a complete smoothie every single day for breakfast. And sometimes when I'm running late, I have it for dinner. Um, so this is an important statement. Health is much more dependent on our habits and what we feed ourselves, our nutrition, than on medicine. And I truly believe a lot of the diseases that I see can be prevented or turned around by our nutritional plan. So I wish you all a great night because you are what you eat. So have a great evening. And I will Thank you it. so much, Dr. Benitez. That was really amazing. I loved all those amazing quotes you had in there. Uh, and just sharing with us how we can help to take control of our own health. Thank you again for your time and your effort on our behalf. You're so welcome. we're going to finish up our call with our area team leader, Ro Melnico. So I will turn it over to Ro now. Thank you, Marlena. Thank you, Dr. Benitez, for uh, speaking on our call tonight. I've learned so much. I've taken a lot of notes. So grateful and honored to have people of your caliber with us. Let me tell you about myself. As Marlene mentioned, my name is Ro Melnico and I'm a national marketing director for the Juice Plus company. I'm formerly an elementary teacher and adjunct college professor. I resigned teaching to join the Juice Plus company in their mission to inspire healthy living over 22 years ago. Why, you might say, would I leave my tenure, pension, a nice salary behind to join a marketing company when I had no experience in marketing? Well, my story began in a hospital bed. The doctors were trying to figure out how to use gravity to assist in getting the water out of my legs without having to lie me down because it would result in excruciating pain due to the pleurisy in my chest. You see, my kidneys were failing secondary to the systemic lupus that I was diagnosed with when I was 22 in college. I suffered with arthritis, liver involvement, bowel problems, and I was always tired and lethargic. I took tons of medications and vitamins to no avail. I changed my diet, but I still had flares. Adding the Juice Plus products made a tremendous difference in my health. It not only lowered the inflammation in my body, but it also contributed to a healthier immune system. It improved my hair, my skin, and many other health benefits. It also acted as a catalyst, encouraging me to make other healthy lifestyle changes. I actually started to crave more fruits and vegetables. Today, I can sit before you and God and say that I've been symptom-free with energy and vitality for 20 plus years. Today, I'm healthier at 60 than I was in my 20s. Now, getting results like that, you can imagine my passion and great desire to want to pay it forward. Millions of people are receiving health benefits from our nourishing products. My team and I have touched many lives, seniors, expecting mothers, people with low energy, people with lupus, elite athletes, and so many others. Our mission is to help people take back their health and the control they have over their own lives. What attracted me to the business was its simplicity and flexibility. I was able to go on all my kids' class trips, attend their athletic events, and be there for them. There is no greater freedom than being able to do the things we love with the ones we love. That's what the Juice Plus company can offer you. Our virtual franchise is the perfect business 
for busy people. We essentially share Juice Plus and our business with others. On calls like this, for example, our company provides us with top quality sales support. They process orders, ship directly to our customers, pay you and your team, they manage all the data, and, is, and this truly is a tried and proven system that this business has come up with. All of this for $50. Most people are getting to our top paying commission level in less than a year. Our top leader position for those who want it can be achieved in two to four years as a national marketing director. As a national marketing director, I receive comprehensive medical insurance, including dental and vision and life insurance, disability insurance, long-term health care insurance, prescription drug coverage, a family tuition program. They actually help me put my boys through school, an expense allowance, and they always give me a thousand dollar holiday bonus every year. I like to say as a teacher and as a professor, I never even got a turkey. So that's real wonderful uh, to get that around the holidays. So what do you want for your family? What are your options? We chose the company with heart that wants to help us achieve our dreams. We'd like to invite you to join us whether it's to enjoy the benefits of our products and or join us in our mission to inspire healthy living around the world, we invite you to talk to whomever invited you to this call and tell them, I want to be working on my future and not letting two, four years pass without doing anything. Because after all, life is short and I want to live life to the plus. At this time, I want to tell you briefly about our next call so that you can save the date. I'm going to share my screen uh, with you, and I'm going to show you a flyer that I have for our next person. If you like this call, maybe you'll bring a friend back to our next call. Dr. Kim Delzell is a registered dietitian, and her main focus is to counsel uh, people with cancer. But Kim is passionate about living life to the plus herself and showing people how they can be the best versions of themselves. So if you like what Dr. shared with you tonight, come back on November 30th and bring a friend with you.